What's up guys, Jake here. Today we're back on the Chattahoochee River located in Columbus, Georgia. I'm teaming up with my buddy Jamie O'Brien and Jack from the Jude Squad and all their friends to see what else we can find in the river. Yesterday I actually got super lucky and came across an old weapon. Boom. Bang it! Oh! the king of treasure hunting for the day. <laughs> All right, guys, it's day two. I'm really excited, especially after yesterday when Jake found the gun right next to me, like literally blew my mind. Like just finding all this rad stuff on the river, I, I, I feel really comfortable and confident this time to go diving and hopefully we score. I know what to look for now and I'm not scared of catfish or anything else out there. <laughs> all right, man, let's do it. Let's go, it's gonna be so much fun. If you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, drop a thumbs up on this video. I'll make a deal with you guys. If we can break over 100,000 likes on this video, I'll team up with Jamie O'Brien. I'll fly to his house in Hawaii and show you guys what a day in a life looks like for him so drop a thumbs up if you guys want to see that but today the plan is to take all these people out there in the river to see what other crazy stuff we can find at the bottom so let's do that Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, man. So there was a lot of pressure on us. The first dive that they came down, they killed it, found bangers. And today I was kind of worried that we were going to be able to find some stuff, but this is my favorite find from today. I found an iPhone and look at this, Jake. It freaking cuts on. <laughs> so there's a missed call. I'm going to call this person and try to give their phone back today. So that will be really, really cool. But awesome today. Jamie and them had a blast bringing the boys out, showing them a good time. That's all that matters, so that was awesome. All right, I think everybody found some really good stuff today. One of my favorite finds, a little untraditional, but it is this bowling <laughs> pin right here. I don't know, it's just super weird. I also have this little phone right here, not as cool as the iPhones everybody found today, but I do have an Apple Watch, which is Series 3. It's brand new. Um, hopefully it works. We might be able to get this back to the owner as well today. All right, so my favorite find was an iPhone. I cannot believe I found this. I was so stoked. Actually, Jake almost found it, but I just found it right before him. <laughs> just like the gun, dude. I was right next to you, but um, yeah, amazing. I can't believe I found this. I hope it turns on so we can call the owners and return it. But if not, you know, there's so much more fun stuff in store for us over here today. And um, I'm excited to go hit the wave. That was an amazing dive. Thank you for taking us. We all found some pretty incredible stuff. Everyone found a banger. And today I found some pretty cool things as well. We actually found three phones and this is the first iPhone, I believe, which is really cool. But my strangest find of today is this bone. And after looking at it in further detail and pulling up Google images, I think this potentially could be a human leg bone. It's not too far-fetched that this could be potentially a human leg bone, just because a diver was actually recently diving here and he found a human leg bone and it was tested and identified as a human leg bone. Look at this, man. That's about dang near the size of a leg bone. I mean, the guy was probably a little shorter than me, but that's wild, dude. I'm not touching it, but <laughs> I will say this. Um, with any type of bone or anything like that, uh, I'm no forensic scientist, by the way, but you can always pull DNA from anything like this. So let's just say someone has been lost or anything like that. Um, they could actually pull DNA from this particular bone and uh, you know, maybe find out who it belonged to. But they could do a DNA test on it, which could give some closure to a family who may not have known or anything like that. You never know with a situation like this. So, um, Jake, are you gonna call the police and- Yeah, yeah, we're gonna give them a call. Call the police and uh, kind of uh, see. Cause I really think it's a leg bone. Well, I think so too. I think that's the best bet. Cause you just don't know, right? This could be evidence for a case. This could be um, DNA tested and maybe give a family closure. You have no idea. So I think that's the best idea. Call the cops and just see what they have to say. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give the Columbus, Georgia Police Department a call. Tell them that we found a potential human bone in the river while diving and then figure out what we need to do from there. So let's go ahead and give them a call. I just called my local police department and they didn't answer. I believe they actually closed early on a Saturday. I'm not too sure, but I think uh, the best thing now to do is go ahead and call 911. You always want to call your local police department first if it's not an emergency, but I'm going to go ahead and give 911 a call, tell them it's not an emergency right off the bat, and then tell them what, you know, what I found in the river. 911. Uh, hey man, my name's Jake. Uh, this is not an emergency, but when I was scuba diving in the Chattahoochee River, I came across what I think might be a human leg bone, and I want to hand it over so y'all could do what you need to do with it. Do you have it? Yes ma'am, it's in my truck. Okay, what address are you at? Or I'm over here at the Eagle and Phoenix uh, Mill. You know where the big water tower? Parking lot? Yeah, right in the parking lot. Right in, right by the water tower. And it's old, okay. so there's no like um, flesh or anything on it. It's just an old bone. Um, okay, you said by the water tower? <laughs> yes, ma'am. I know it's kind of weird. <laughs> um, okay, Jack, um, She's okay, special. um, it, I mean, Wait, I, what color and type of vehicle will you be standing near? Uh, I'm in a in? I'm in a Ford F-150, and there's scuba tanks on the back, and it's right in front of the big okay. water tower. What color is the Ford F-150? White. Okay. I would say I'm 85% sure it's a human bone. Like it looked pretty similar on Google. I definitely think it's worth calling for, but you may want to put in the notes like it could be a cow bone or a deer bone or something like that. But what leads me to believe that it may be a human bone is the fact that another scuba diver you know, had a confirmed find of a human bone on the right side of the bridge and I found this right on the left side. So being that he found one, I'm thinking that this could potentially really be a human bone. I am gonna get the police out to you, Jay. Okay. What phone number are you calling from? Uh, 714. Okay, I'm gonna get them out there to you, okay? Okay, take your guys' time. Oh, all right. Bye. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> she was speechless. You know, it's always interesting calling the police station about a gun I found, or in this case, a bone. You know, that girl is speechless. She's like, okay, like she didn't know what to do. You know, 
and uh, I wanted to make sure she knew it didn't have any flesh on it. It wasn't recent. It was kind of old, and it might not be a human bone, but I thought it was. You know, I wanted her to know everything, so it's not like a huge rush. You know, for me, I will sleep better at night knowing that I handed this bone in no matter what, because if it is a human bone, even if it's a slight chance, it could help out in some case, and that could help close a case that's, you know, maybe been open for a very long time or, you know, could bring closure to a family. It would just suck, like, if that was a missing piece of something and I didn't turn it in and, you know, it still was a mystery forever. So, yeah, it's always the best thing to do is just to call the police if you have any questions. And, yeah, this was just kind of a strange find. I've never found something like that before. But, well, other one time. But, like, that was a little different. But, uh, so... Yeah, I guess we're gonna wait for the police now, wait for them to come, and then we'll hand them over the bone. I have it in like a black mesh bag. I think I'm gonna take it out and put it in a Ziploc bag, make it look look a little bit better for them. Just making a YouTube video. Okay. Uh, yeah, I found this bone while diving. Okay. In the river, I take it? Yes, sir. Okay. Down by the Dillingham Street Bridge. I'm not 100% sure it's a human bone. It's old. Something it may be back to the old mobster days, potentially, but what leads me to believe that it could be is a scuba diver did find one on the right side of the bridge and i found this right on the left side of dillingham bridge okay. and it matches like the google pictures okay. pretty good yeah. but like i'm not 100 percent sure but okay. i do think it is okay okay well i got another unit coming out right now and then uh, we'll go from there all right what do you think kind of looks i like, have no idea. i don't know either all right so they have another officer coming by he doesn't have an idea like if, if this is indeed a human bone or not but i think the other officer is going to take a look at it and then we'll figure out what we need to do from there so the second officer just got here I guess it's just kind of strange. Hey. Second officer just got here. We're going to show him the bone. How you doing, sir? Okay. Found this while scuba diving. I'm not 100% sure it's a human bone, but like I was telling the other officer, there was a human bone confirmed found on the right side of the Dillingham Street Bridge. And I found this right on the left side. And it looked pretty identical. And you flip it, I mean, it just, I don't know. What do you think? I know it's old, but. Yeah. He's like, it's definitely a possibility. It's wild. I never thought I'd find something like that in the river. And if that is a human bone, I mean, that's probably one of the craziest things I've ever found in my life. But we're going to figure it out. I bet these people here at my house think I'm like the worst <laughs> getting the cops called all the time. We're driving down to the location where I found that bone. The police officers are behind me right now, following me to the spot. Their supervisor asked them for me to go to the exact spot where I found the bone so they can take photographs of that area. And then um, maybe they'll come back and do like a full extent search at that location. I think all in all, they just wanna know where I found it and make sure like the exact spot. But they're actually gonna take that bone to the hospital and have a doctor identify that bone and see whether or not it is human or not. So we're gonna go to the boat ramp first where I found the, uh, the bone and then go from there. Slight change of plans. Yeah. Sir Lawrence is gonna call dispatch to get them to see if they'll send a coroner out and make it. Okay. He's in route. Cool. We got someone coming by to identify the bone. So, I was scuba diving going down the river right here, and I found the bone right about, say right off the edge here, not too far, like jumping distance. And then right here is actually a lot of like logs and stuff. So over time, anything that like drifted down the river gets stuck right there. And in my opinion, if someone was killed back in the day and a leg bone happened to get wedged. It could have dripped down here over years. So, so kind of even with this pile? Yeah, I would say straight out and anywhere between these two, just uh, in jumping distance. I brought them to the location where I found the bone. I showed them the exact spot. They took pictures so they know where to go if they ever needed to come back here in the future. Right now, they actually have someone coming down to, I guess, verify whether or not that is a human bone and then they'll go from here. But I think we might have a little conclusion to our story. But if not, I mean, we got the bone to them, we got the spot. And, you know, it is what it is. Maybe they'll figure that out on their own time. But I'll update you guys and let you know what's going on. The coroner came down, took a look at the bone. She actually grabbed the bone and put it into this yellow envelope looking thing. And she put it in a car and she asked for, you know, where I found it. I showed her just like the police officers. She didn't know right off the back whether or not if it's human bone. And I think it takes like three to six months potentially to know whether or not that's a human bone or not. You know, she didn't know exactly what it was. The police officers didn't know exactly what it was. And I mean... I don't know, like I'm not 100% sure, but comparing it to bones on Google, it does look like a human leg bone potentially. I don't know, man. Um, it's a wild story. I've never found something like that before. And I thought I'd share that with you guys here on YouTube. You know, potentially found something, probably one of the craziest finds of my life. I would lean more towards that it's indeed a human leg bone, but I'm not 100% sure. No one is, but let me know in the comment section below what you guys think it is. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you guys leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new. I'd love for you guys to join me on my next adventure. But with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time. We had a guy walk by. He's like, what's going on, Jake? What's, what's happening? I was like, dude, we found $50 million worth of gold and I called the police to hand it over to him.
And I look at him, I'm like, nah, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't call the police about that. I keep it. 